Hello and welcome to the live stream. If you have been ever interested or if you've ever wanted to use your iPhone as a webcam or a camera source to live stream with, you're in the right place. In this video, in this live stream today, I'm going to walk you through how to use your iPhone as a webcam so that you can use this beautiful 4K high definition camera that you have to live stream with, right? As an alternative to using a webcam um, and giving you the ability to have really good video. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sarah Nguyen and I help coaches, consultants and creative pros build their business using video with ease. And I live stream a lot about live streaming. Now make sure you check out the links in the description because I'll go back and put all of the timestamps from the live stream today, as well as all of the resource that, resources that I mentioned in this video. So at this, this very moment, you are watching me using my iPhone 11 Pro Max as the webcam. So how cool is that? And I'm going to show you how to bring it all together, how to make it work, because this is what we've been waiting for, my friends, since this whole... COVID pandemic thing. We've been wanting to use our iPhones as a webcam so we can live stream with. And there's been a lot of um, different apps out there that have started to do this. But recently, Filmic Pro, the app came out with a um, release that allows us to do it really, really easily. And it's, it's a lot of inception. So you're seeing me right now through my iPhone 11 using Filmic Pro, and I'm going to show you how to bring it all together. So if you're really interested in doing this, this is, um, the, you're in the right place. Now you need a couple of things to make this all come together. So I've been testing frantically to make sure that um, everything works before I actually present it to you. So here's the cup, here's, here's what you need. Here's a lowdown of what you need. And this is specifically for iOS. So I'm going to show you how to make it work for your iPhone or your iPad Pro. I don't have um, an Android, so unfortunately I can't cover that, but iPhone users, you're in for a treat. So let's get right started. Let's get right started. Let's get started into what hardware you need to actually make this come together. So the first bit that you need is if you want to use your iPhone, which is um, a lightning connector, you need to get a lightning to HDMI adapter. And this is what you see on the screen right now, right? So the link is in the description to what that actually is, but this is what you need, the first piece of equipment that you need. You can't just connect any random old cable. It does need to be very specific things in order to make this work. The second thing that you need to get is an HDMI cable, right? So just your, your standard, oops, wrong side, run of the mill HDMI cable that you can't see on the screen at the moment. That's the second thing that you need to get. And I'll show you how to piece it all together. Um, the third thing that you need to get is a capture card. Capture cards are the bane of my existence, right? So the two capture cards that I've tested that I can vouch and say actually work, Firstly is this no name um, capture card, which is about 20 to $30 on Amazon, which has been floating around and is crazy. No one knows where it came from. It's literally this no frills version and it literally just works. So this is one capture card that works. Link is in the description. The second one that I tested that works is the Elgato Camlink 4K. And I have a really rough relationship with the Elgato Camlink 4K because it's really inconsistent, but for this for you know testing with this setup with the iPhone it worked it just worked I don't know why but it just worked so you need a capture card and those are the two that have worked with this setup and if you are wanting to use your iPad Pro because you know the iPad Pros come with a 4k camera you can do that as well but you will need either a USB-C to HDMI hub or something like this right? Um, where you can put the HDMI cable in one side and then the USB-C um, into your device or a USB-C to HDMI adapter. So it doesn't really matter which one you get, um, but you will need the correct adapter depending on which device you want to actually use. So how does this all come together? So on one side of the HDMI cable, you want to put the capture card. Oh, let's take that down so you can actually see what's going on. 
Um, so one side of the HDMI cable, you want to connect your capture card, right? So that HDMI um, will go into the capture card and then the capture card goes into your computer, right? So that's part one. Part two is you then want to take your, the other end of the HDMI cable and you want to place that into your adapter, whether it's the um, USB-C adapter or the lightning adapter to HDMI adapter. So that's where you want to connect that part, right? Like this, and I'm being watched by everyone, so I'm getting stage fright. So that's the other side. So that's how you connect the cables. And then, once again, depending if you're on your iPhone or you're on your iPad, then the, the, the port goes into your actual iOS device. The app that you need to get, and this is also in the description as well, is Filmic Pro, right? The Filmic Pro app. And yes, this is a paid app, and people tend to go, oh, it's a paid app, but it's like, $15, $20 or something like that. Something that you can pay, that you can set up to use your iPhone as a webcam. Like, I think that's fantastic. And you need to remember that someone's gonna build this, right? You want functionality, you want the ability to use your um, mobile phone as a webcam and you need software to do that, someone's gonna build that. So this is the app that you can use to get it all to work. And once you've got your capture card, HDMI cable, your adapter, um, and the Filmic Pro app installed on your iPhone device, then we can connect it all together, right? So let's have a look at how it all comes together. All right, this is the ultimate test. So I'm just plugging in my, I'm gonna switch over now. So what you see now is my iPad Pro and I have my um, HDMI cable. I've got the USB-C to HDMI adapter and this is the Filmic Pro app, right? And as you can see, this is um, the, the back camera and it's pointing at um, Rose and Ray from Star Wars and my little Moana Ushi then what you do to get clean HDMI, so you don't want to have like these lines on your actual camera, is you click on the little cog at the bottom of the app, and then you go to hardware, and then you see how it says clean HDMI out, then you switch that, and it will then tell you to connect, um, disconnect and reconnect the display. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to disconnect and it's gonna go black for a second. And when I reconnect, we just give it a second. There it is. Then you have clean lines and you um, don't see all of the, um, you know, lines that you would see on the actual app. And then that's it. Then you're able to start using your either iPad Pro or your iPhone as an actual um Webcam, that's it. Like the problem that a lot of people have with their cameras is they can't get that um, clean HDMI out. They get all of those lines, but this is working pretty good. So the other thing that um, you can do with the app is like, you know, you've got the ability to use the back camera. You can switch it so that you can um, use the front camera as well. Um, this is gonna be a little bit scary. So I'm gonna put in selfie mode here, but let's go back to the other mode. And then like Filmic Pro gives you the ability to then really dive down on the color, on the lighting, and it's just such a great app that, you know, I don't know how you don't love it and you don't, um, you know, get so excited about it. So now, now that we've shown you how it all connects and comes together, so we've got it working, how do we then live stream with this setup? So now I'm going to go over to my computer. Right, and so this is in StreamYard. So I'm going to go into a broadcast just for the purposes of this demonstration. And what I'm going to do is show you how it works. So now when I go to camera or mic, in the camera source, the CamLink 4K is this current um, iPhone that I'm streaming off, but you'll see that um, the capture card will show up in the actual camera source. So CamLink is the one that we're live streaming from now. The iPad Pro that um, had Moana and Ray from Star Wars, that's the USB-C camera, so I can switch to that. And that shows up, right? And that's it, your camera is now a source that you can use as a webcam. How exciting is that? So that's how you would do it. And I tested this out on StreamYard. I tested this out on 
let's go back to here. Um, yeah, I tested this out on StreamYard. I tested this out on Ecamm Live. You're watching me now, I use Ecamm Live to live stream with. I tested this out with Restream. Um, I tested this out with Restream. So I've tested it out on all of the social, all of the, not all of them, but a lot of the live streaming web-based and software-based um, software options and they work. So I was so excited to see this that I was like, yes, I have to share this. But it doesn't, it, you need all these bits and pieces to make it come all together. But once you've got it all together, you then have like the ability to live stream using your, um, you know, your devices. And, you know, I've seen a lot of comments recently from people saying, oh, but you have to buy the attachment. Oh, you have to buy the HDMI cable. I'm like, well, yeah, how is this all going to come together? You know, like, you got, it's, you, we kind of have to MacGyver ourselves through live streaming and this is no different. But now we finally got the ability to piece it all together and to make it work, which I'm so excited to bring to you tonight. So really excited. Let me know what you think about this live stream. I was a little bit like I am risking it for the biscuit, total risk it for the biscuit because I haven't done this before because this was only released about a week ago. So I've been frantically testing it and I was like, all right, tonight we're going balls to the wall. We're just going to live stream and we're going to live stream using this actual setup and show them how to do it which is a little bit crazy but it all seems to be working from what I can see so really really excited um yes so invest with Queenie hey Queenie good to see you she said it's really sharp love it and David Pearl said the picture is looking pretty crisp I was pretty impressed so when I was running tests on another Facebook um account on a test a couple of test accounts I was like all right, this is really interesting. There are there are a couple of limitations to this. So if you want to stream in 4K, which seems to be what everyone wants to do these days, you need to have, yes, you've got the camera, which can, which has 4K capability, but your capture card also needs to be a 4K capture card. So, you know, there's, there's that. So if you want that to all happen, um, that needs to be, you know, 4K capture cards are a little bit on the expensive side. And can people really tell the difference between 4K and, you know, HD 1080p? I don't know, but I just love this feature so much. So the other thing that I love about um, using this function, particularly with Filmic Pro, and, I'm, and I've used Filmic Pro in the past, and they've always been a really, a really rich, feature rich video editing app for your mobile device. But I, the thing that I think, makes it so amazing is that you can really dial down on the color. So right now I've got it set to auto white balance, which I thought worked pretty well, but I can really dial it down whether I want to, you know, increase the warmth, go really warm or cool it right down and, you know, hit those darker colors or just, you know, play around and have a bit of fun. But I love like the, like the amazing settings that you get with the app and it's just so much fun. And you also, you, you pretty much have the same settings for the most part that you would with a DSLR camera. So how exciting is that? I think that's pretty exciting. And I'm really glad that all of the technology worked tonight. I was a bit nervous about whether or not it would hold up and whether or not I would actually be able to live stream with it. But hey, well done Filmic Pro. Well done iPhone for holding it together as well as all of the um, pieces. So that essentially wraps up tonight's live stream. Um, we made it. <laughs> we made it. Everything worked. Um, a bit nervous that it wasn't going to work, but it's all come together. So um, I will post a link to the YouTube and the Facebook video so you can see how the feeds come through. Remember that um, YouTube allows you to stream in 4K, but Facebook compresses it to 720. Um, but, you know, you, you get to see how it shows through anyway. And what a great option that we have now. So I just love the day, um, you know, the day, the, the age that we're living in right now. So if you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials about live streaming, social media and ways to grow your business using video. And if you are looking to live stream, you know, setting up your camera using an iPhone is just one part of the equation. You've also got to figure out what to say, you know, how to bring it all together and how to convert your viewers into buyers. So I've put together a Facebook Live cheat sheet that shows you exactly how to get up and running with Facebook Live, even if you've never hit record before. So I'm going to put the link on the screen as well as in the description. Thanks everyone for joining me tonight and I'll see you in the next broadcast. Bye for now.